Alright, so before going any further, if you're installing this for the first time, you will need to set up a printer profile so specific to your printer. So in this case, I am going to use the Anycubic Photon, uh, which is a printer I have, and also I do have the Pure Poly Moai. Uh, but let's just focus on the Photon for now, for today. So to get a new printer profile set up, you will need to click on Settings. And then by default, let me just get rid of these. Okay, and by default, it's just going to have a generic printer. Uh, make sure you add the profile for your Photon, for your relevant printer, and it's just going to be a lot easier to use. So to add a new profile, click on the little plus button, and you can see all the various type of printers that um, the Cheaterbox software supports, which is really awesome. And you, again, you can add a custom printer in there as well. So make sure you select the Anycubic Photon for this demo. Hit OK. And you'll see the profile has appeared on the left here. So you can actually have multiple printer profiles, uh, which means um, you can have different resolution settings depending on... Have the same printer, but different settings, basically presets. So, looking at the profile, this all works. I have tested the default profile uh, with adjusted exposure settings uh, on a print and the print that um, I tested was the supports was generated on the uh, Cheaterbox software. So, for my testing, everything works. So, let's have a look at the machine and the resin in the print. So just a note here, I have blanked out the right side settings for the Photon and it's due to a request from the development team. So, um, so yeah, let's just focus on the settings on the left here and which pretty much are your basic exposure settings exactly the same as the uh, previous version of the uh, Photon Slicer. So your layer height goes in here, your bottom layer count, your exposure time, bottom exposure time, your light off delay. So I think this is called off time in, uh, in the current slicer. So by default, it has set it to zero. So I would highly recommend you to set it to 6.5. And then obviously adjust your exposure settings based on your resin. So pretty straightforward stuff. You just need to make sure that you add in the Anycubic Photon Profile and then change the uh, exposure settings based on your resin. One very handy thing is that you can import and export these profile settings. So which means uh, you can save them for backup for later or uh, send them to send them to your buddies. So once that's done, we'll close it. And next to the slice icon, there is a drop down menu. So this is where you select the different profiles uh, that you've created. So make sure you've selected the Anycubic Photon and the, this will end the chapter on how to uh, set up a new profile 